Shazia had just left for work when her 14-year-old daughter, Sana, called her up. Crying inconsolably, Sana urged her to come back. Visibly anxious, Shazia rushed home in great anxiety. To her horror, she found her daughter lying on the floor, holding her stomach, writhing in pain. A medical examination revealed that Sana was seven months pregnant. It was then that Shazia came to know that taking advantage of her working hours, four men from the neighborhood had raped Sana. Scared to speak out, Sana kept quiet. Shazia confronted the men, but they denied all charges. They duped her into believing that they could prove their innocence by taking paternity tests and took Shazia and Sana to Allahabad on that pretext. Shazia was locked up in a room and Sana was taken away forcefully to an abortion clinic. Hours later, when they brought her back, she was bleeding profusely. Determined to get justice, Shazia lodged an FIR. These uh, physical problems also add to the mental stress and as such these children will have mental trauma also. So they will be at a higher risk of having anxiety, depression and what we say is post-traumatic stress disorder. So even the mental trauma can you know affect their physical health also because they are not able to sleep, they may not eat well, they may get withdrawn, they may not study properly. So I think it's closely related both the mental and physical health which gets affected for these children. The Child Welfare Committee appointed Kailash Satyarthi Children's Foundation sister organization Bachpan Bachao Andolan as a support person. On the BBA's intervention, the interim compensation amount was doubled to 1 lakh rupees from the earlier 50,000. While three of the accused are in judicial custody, one is out on bail. BBA have been providing them with counselling. BBA was involved in legal support also. And as a first thing, BBA, what BBA did was that she was given a 50,000 rupees as an initial compensation. BBA helped, helped and get the compensation enhanced from 50,000 to 1 lakh rupees. The abortion left Sana's kidneys severely damaged, for which she is undergoing hemodialysis. The Kailash Satyarthi Children's Foundation's Justice for Every Child campaign aims to provide support for children like Sana, child victims of sexual abuse and rape. Your support can go a long way in helping them. Every child matters.